Hi, everyone. My name is Wade Carlson. I'm a senior systems engineer for Runecast Solutions. And today I wanted to bring you a video and um, notify you of a new feature that we have recently added to the Runecast Analyzer product. And that new feature is Configuration Vault. So ultimately, what does that mean? Configuration Vault, in the IT world, um, we always know as system administrators and IT managers that we um, ultimately over time end up with configuration drift in our environment where um, certain systems are not configured the same. Um, you know, one system may have an out-of-date BIOS or driver and over time, we've upgraded those things on different servers in the environment and forgot about some other ones. So ultimately, this leads to configuration drift, which makes it you know, more difficult to manage an environment. And ultimately, for the most healthy environment, you want everything configured the same. So when things go wrong, you can address those quickly and understand that you may not have those problems on other systems or you may have similar issues on those systems. So with that new feature available now in Runecast Analyzer version 5.1 that was recently released brings you configuration vault. So if I jump into the product itself and you know show you what this looks like, um, you know, I, I'm logged into my web client interface in my lab environment showing you the Runecast solution. If I scroll down and go into the configuration analysis section and highlight configuration vault, ultimately what we're doing is looking at your configuration based on any of the products that we support. So, you know, any, anything from your vSphere environment, your vCenters, your ESXi host servers, your VMware Horizon connection um, services, that if you're running VMware's uh, Horizon for VDI, uh, Amazon's AWS cloud services, Kubernetes, your NSX environments, vCloud Director, and of course, uh, the Azure services from Microsoft as well. So, you know, what, regardless of what you're targeting within Runecast for analytics, we're going to be able to and show you your, your configuration set over time. So as you perform analytics and scans in your environment using Runecast Analyzer, um, you know, over time, we're gonna store that data and illustrate the configuration of those data and where you can compare them. So ultimately you have a scan, you, you, you establish that scan as a baseline or whichever scan you wish to establish as a baseline. And in here over time through various scans, you can compare the current scan to that baseline and only show you in here what's different in your configuration stack. So that's what we're doing. So if I come in here and I highlight one of my vCenter servers as an example, under the configuration vault, we give you many different ways to sort, filter this data to be particular about what you're wanting to look at at the moment. So if I open up the view, I can view this information based on my host systems, my IO devices, clusters, data stores, down to virtual machines, port groups, et cetera, in here and sort that data in here as well and do this comparison and these checks. So that's what we're doing. Um, in here, I have different UI experiences where I can show these charts, I can disable these charts and only show the results um, and so on and so forth. Ultimately in here, here's my configuration and I can click this button, check historical drift um, and select a previous scan or, or the latest scan, whichever I wish to see where, whatever my baseline to see where I may have configuration drift. So if I quickly jump through here, go back to one of my earliest scans, um, I'll see the results. So if I pop this back up, showing my charts, I see the high level data down below. I see what's in red is going to illustrate what has changed between my baseline and my most recent scan. Um, and in here, all of the data is available to you. If I've added or removed ESXi hosts, that's going to show up virtual machine counts, if I've added or removed virtual machines in this environment, uh, CPU cores, if I added or subtracted memory, um, you kind of get the picture, but we're going to go down to, you know, the DRS status. We're going to get to the HA status if it's enabled in these vMotion, if it's enabled, the vMotion um, uh, actions that have been performed, my vSAN, uh, EVC, et cetera. So it's all listed in here. Ultimately, you can see what has changed over time. So you can address those things, keep things standard, up to date, 
and so forth. Um, I will highlight one of our cloud services real quick and just give you a, a, a look at what that might look like as far as configuration drift and results. So if I'm in here, I'm looking at my T2 micro um, and seeing what's happening. If I check against my um, historical scan, again, let me go back in time. Um, all these scans are, are fairly recent. So I'll actually go forward in time and see what it looks like. So um, in here, we're gonna show you what's healthy and what has changed essentially. So to highlight in red, what's happening, I can get a high level, I can see the counts of what's been occurring um, and so on and so forth. So again, Runecast Analyzer 5.1, Two major features that we released. One, remediation. Please look for my other video on remediation. I'm introducing that feature as well. Two is this configuration vault to keep an eye on your configuration drift in your environment, to keep your environment configured the same and as healthy as possible. And with the theme of Runecast, keeping things to where they're easy to troubleshoot and identify either proactively or reactively what might be occurring in your environment. So again, here to help, here to uh, ensure that you have what you need from a reporting perspective. With that being said, as always, we'd love to talk to you in person. Um, if you're running Runecast today in your environment or you're not, you know, if you're running it today, excited about this new feature, I think it's going to be very useful. If you're not really aware of Runecast, we do have an online 14-day trial that's available. You know, install, run a scan, see the findings from Runecast with a click of a button, very simply seeing your entire configuration of what may be changing over time. Thank you very much for watching the video. Take care and have a good day.